We are talking about nerves of the female reproductive system. Now, this one is actually, if I could only teach you one nerve, this would be it. This is called the pudendal nerve. It is right here. You're going to see down low, it actually has three branches. Uh, it's going to have one that goes to the anal sphincter. It's going to have a mid branch that actually comes down to what's hopefully a very familiar structure at this point to the clitoris and actually, actually innervates the glands, the very tip of the clitoris specifically. And then the third branch you're going to note comes down, it subdivides again, actually goes through some of those lesser known pelvic floor muscles and goes right to the labia majora. So the outside, the exterior genitals, the skin is innervated by this. Now what's special about the pudendal nerve is it is actually a mixed nerve. It's motor and sensory. And like so many nerves in the body, it actually comes in pairs. Here I've hidden a lot of stuff so you could see the nerve itself. And if we look into the bowl of the pelvis here, you're going to see that it's very crowded because this is actually the pelvic floor down in here. And you're going to see there's actually more nerves and nerve plexi that are kind of going everywhere. There's literally wires inside you everywhere. And when you see these sort of ending, they don't actually terminate there. They're just subdividing into smaller and smaller nerves until they're basically everywhere throughout your skin. Here we've just pivoted around to the back so you can see where it originates. It's actually a sacral nerve. It comes from origins at S2, 3, and four and flows down, joins up for uh, kind of cable management in the body because it's actually diving through a hole here where the sciatic nerve is and then coming down and dividing into those spots that we already talked about. Now a little bonus here, this big nerve, this one that you see that's running down the leg all the way to the foot, uh, that is the sciatic nerve. And you're going to note that the pudendal nerve is actually part of this and you can see where you're going to get mixed sensations sometimes when things go wrong. A perfect example of this is if you've ever sat on the toilet for too long and had your leg or maybe your genitals in the front go a little numb, you are actually compressing these two nerve structures. I know we covered a lot. If you have questions, you know what to do.